Hey, hello, welcome back to my channel. This is a short version of my owl. I did a Facebook live. I draw the owl from a print from uh, Pinterest. It's just the size of an owl, nothing more. And for the eyes, I used the packages uh, where the waxes from Finnebear were in. And I glued them already on my canvas because they needed time to glue and I could not dry it with the heat gun because then they will melt away. Then I took some leaves and some uh, wings that I had in my stash. I had a lot of stash. When I was looking through it, I saw a lot of things. So I used it all. You see the leaves? I put one uh, on, on there like it should be, like the one I am holding now. The other one I put the other way around, because then they have the same shape. And when you paint it and wax it later, it's not a big problem. Just some other leaves. I had more leaves than I ever knew. I'm sorry for the uh, small video. I just put my angle from the camera wrong when I was uh, making my uh, Facebook live. As you can see, I use glue and I use the glue gun. Why? Because the glue gun will hold it immediately at its place, but in the time, the glue gun will let loose. And then the uh, heavy body gel will keep it in place, so it will never come off. I had some filigrane. I used that also to make the tail of the owl. And also here I'm gluing with and the heavy body gel and the heat gun. Uh, glue gun, sorry. The little lamp I put in the middle. It is uh, from Finnebear, I believe, from Prima Marketing. But I thought it was a, a great shape to make his nose. And his belly with an old lid from <laughs> Stamperia glue. But I need to put some woods in there. Some, you know, the things from a canvas you, you, you use or never use. So I can glue it to the canvas. So this way, way it will be in shape. Some pressure on the behind to keep it there so the glue from the glue gun will dry. And the heavy body gel, well it takes its time, but it will dry eventually also. Filigrane is easy because you can cut it. We always think we have to use it all, but we can cut it in half. Or just a piece of it like I did here. Because I glued this belly and then I forgot that they are supposed to be under there. Well, that's the live version. You can make mistakes and you have to come up with a solution. I thought this is a good one. Removing the excess of the glue and from the glue gun with a pencil I had in the neighborhood, I had nearby. <laughs> and then I had to go through all my stash and saw I had a lot, a lot of things I ordered, you know, with our Chinese friends <laughs> AliExpress. And I had so many and I thought they were bigger but they came out small and I never used them. But they were awesome now, because I could fill in his whole body with it. So it will give him a lot of texture with different stuff, like the little things from AliExpress, some old buttons. I keep it in place with my stick I had laying there. I use the glue gun, I normally don't, but in a life I will like to keep my stuff stay in place because I need to wax it, I need to um, uh, gesso it. 
and here I'm trying to make a composition. I want to try to make him, I'm giving him the head that he needs, his ears. Some old jewelry, some book corners, and also some filigree. The clock ears you see there, they are from an old clock I bought at a flea market, I believe. They're really, um, they're heavily in weight, so I need to glue them together with the uh, with the heavy body gel and hope it will stay in place. Now put the buttons in his body. That doesn't sound really nice, I know. <laughs> But we are creating him. Just with little small things and making him look more like an owl. I love those glasses. I was not sure about them because they were an old jewelry piece. I got it from a friend of mine. But it makes him look wise and an owl has to be wise some more small things I had in my stash you can use everything in the house you can even use some clips or some old buttons or it doesn't matter just to give him structure because and texture because when you guess it it will be totally different but it's still very much fun and when you go over it with wax it will be really awesome and you can make any animal like this just the one you like just get some mm, pictures from internet and get inspired and then you have some free stenciling or free um, uh, shape um, apps and you can put a picture of there and just make your own creation. I had to see if the glasses were straight. But I hadn't glued the upper corner yet. <laughs> so it all fall down, but it didn't matter. We glued it anyway later on. I put some cardboard under it, so it will uh, give it a more 3D look. step by step you see this owl coming together the things I'm gluing now are from an old um, necklace I cut them in four pieces and then glued them there actually he needs a hat but I didn't do that maybe next time <laughs> that would be nice So now I'm putting the clock pieces into place, hold them because they really need to sit tight. I showed here that I used a heavy body paint glossy gel from Stamperia. It's like the, the heavy glue from Finnabare, it's almost the same. It's just one dries faster than the other one. And I took some vintage um, texture paste from Cadence to put it around the eyes to give it more volume. And it will look like the eyes are uh, really into the body and not just sticking there being lonely and not into the picture
So the eyes will just fade in with the whole owl. You can use any texture paste, but it has to be a little bit of sandy in it, so it will come out when you are waxing it. Yes, my bottle was empty, <laughs> almost, <laughs> so I could use the last bit of it. Now I'm taking the soft glue from uh, from Finnebear and mixing it with um, with sand, with uh, 3D balls, so they all have some um, glue on them, and then I'm going to put them in all the places I didn't stuck anything, so it will be one whole body with no empty spaces in there. You see between the ears and in the body where I didn't get anything, these 3D balls are really great to fill in your empty spaces or when you are not really happy with the thing you create and you want it to disappear, you can put it all over. And when you do it with a soft glue gel, they will stick forever. It's really thin, but it's really, uh, really uh, heavy, it helps. And here I'm putting in some sand, also from the 3D, ball, 3D balls, but then the sand. It is so small that it will get into the, all the pieces you didn't catch. And if you will uh, uh, take it off later, then it all stays in one place. I cheated. I used the gesso spray. I got it in Frankfurt. It's from Odif. And it's really nice because you can spray it and it doesn't take so much time. I started over the next day because uh, I needed to let it dry. It was not dry enough, especially the, the 3D balls were not uh, dry enough to wax them. So I finished my painting or my 3D mixed media thing all the next day. And then I can then I can wax it and not be afraid that something get off. And all was really in place. The background I did with uh, the Finnebar wax red ruby. And now I'm starting with a uh, with the edge brass because it's not such a bright color, but it will give you a background color, and then the waxes will get another color when you go over it. But believe me, waxing is addictive. You can wax all the time and just keep doing it because the colors will change and well, you can make it as you want. That is the fire ruby. It's a little bit more orange because the background was really Bordeaux look. But I like the owl to pop out. So I used several waxes from Finnebear. Because they are easy to apply and give such a great result. <laughs> that is the Odif spray bottle from the Black Gesso I told you about. Some green. I also put some um, screws on the sides of the, the glasses. I did it also before I uh, start waxing. I did it the day before in the live version. You can wax it in all colors you want and just see the result. And if you do not like it, just wax over it again and it will be as you will like it. You can put in all the colors that, that are your favorites. That's the one I used for the background. It's really, really a nice color. I will put the, the, the waxes in, uh, in the description box. Here I was checking which eyes I need to use. And then I took my favorite wax at this moment, the Firebird. It is so shiny. It's so orange. It is really, really cool. 
and it will give you a shiny way to like the nose you see how it pops out now and the feathers Here I use my fingers because sometimes with your fingers you can apply better than with a brush. But I'm always changing what I like and what I don't like. So out of picture. You see that the frame is in the right way now because I did another life. The peacock. That's also a great wax and it will fit the firebird really, really nice. We need to get some depth in him, so he will pop out of the red from the background. You see the matte wax I used here? Well. Maybe it's me, but I do not like the matte waxes. It's not my kind of thing, let's say. So I changed it. That's what I said about the waxes. You can change it. So I put the peacock over it, but it was still not what I wanted. So then I took uh, another wax. It was the Bronze Age, I believe. And it is a darker gold one, an antique gold one. And I put that over, the, his, over his belly. And it will give another another look. It is not going to be that bright anymore. I tried a lot of things with the blue, but it didn't work. <laughs> and then I was finished with the blue. So I took the old brass. You see him, I have him in my hands. It's antique gold. And then I liked it. Well, give him some eyes. Give him some yellow eyes. Some freaky eyes. That's what makes him cute. Because I was a wisdom, but I was also so cute. And then I put, um, took some, um, just a package from Snap Art uh, chipboard, and I put some liquid uh, acrylics from Finnebear on there, the black one, and I diluted it with water, so I can get some shape, some shadow uh, behind the owl. And everything I didn't like, I dapped it off with a baby wipe. But you got a little great yeah, shadow and he will pop out of the, of the canvas. It's a simple technique, but it will work. And as you see it, it really popped out. Well, I hope you liked my video and I hope you like my voiceover. It's not my language, English, I'm a Dutch girl, but I try and I hope I get you inspired. And maybe you can share with me if you have, you have done something like this. Hope to see you next time and bye bye.